Hey folks, Wish SE up here in New Hampshire. Today I'm going to do some demonstrations on some of the things that I do on a weekly basis to stay proficient with my sidearm. And what I like to do is every week, every other week, in addition to the regular practice I do, I like to run my everyday carry gun and just work on some of the same drills. My practice sessions usually involve several hundred rounds and it starts with everything from being able to on demand just come out of the holster. Sometimes the first thing I'll show up out of the holster and just run steel, right? Getting quick hits on steel while moving. Today what I'm going to do is show you a fairly systematic approach which involves shooting some fundamental drills that I've used before that you guys have seen and then how we sort of transition from that slow warm up where we're simply working process for the end product, right? Up, look, front sight, trigger press, trigger reset. And then how we transition that into what I consider more realistic defensive applications such as shooting, moving, reloading, and those kinds of things. This is gonna be a very short video today because I'm just gonna touch on a couple things. What I want you to take away from this is the importance of training, ongoing, training and then using that training that you've paid for to go out to practice and having a plan when you practice. So we're going to start, the gun we're running today is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield in 9mm. I'm using an appendix carry holster. You're not going to see any blindingly fast presentations because that's not what I'm working on. What I'm working on is being proficient with what I'm doing so I have the confidence that I know as I start upping my speed level I'll be able to deliver combat effective hits if and when that situation arises. All right, we're going to get to shooting right now. So what we have here is this is a Todd Green target. Many of you know Todd Green with PistolTraining.com. Uh, taking a class with Todd, he's really great. And uh, one of the reasons I like this target is it's got a number of different things that we can work on. Both our ocular cranial shots, center mass hits, and then these smaller dots that essentially provide you the ability to run dot torture. So what I like to do with a, a warm up in what I'm doing today is where I'm just working smooth presentations from holsters. So I'm going to have these uh, two inch circles as my aim point um, and focal point from a distance of five yards. And again, what we're working is just a smooth presentation and a good hit. All right, five shots. They're all in that B area. So again, this is just, we're going smooth. We're not trying to go fast. We're not trying to move and everything. Do I want to add movement to my practice session? Absolutely. But we're working a skill drill right now, not necessarily a tactical drill. So we'll add those tactical drills as we continue our session today. But what I want to do initially is just get that gun up, find the front sight, trigger press, trigger reset. Am I following through? Am I back on my target? Am I seeing my front sight? Am I getting a nice accurate picture and delivery. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one piece to it. Now we're just gonna rip, step, press. Okay? And again, this is just to start a little bit of movement so we've got ourselves working on getting a good hit. Again, we're about six yards from our target here. And after reload, we like to teach people up, look, reload, right, come back out, and assess your target rather than necessarily firing. Now, you can certainly do the drills where you fire so you can see how quickly the reload was. But again, what I want to do from a defensive standpoint is hopefully my initial engagement has caused the threat to no longer be a threat, to leave, to go down, and I may not have to keep shooting, which would be a great thing. 
All right, so you can see, is this pinpoint accuracy? No, it's not. That's not what I'm, I'm working on right now. I'm just working on that simple movement. Present, step, press. Okay? Present, move. So now what we're doing is we're beginning to add a little bit to this where we started with just up look press. Now we're doing something a little different. So again, from a tactical standpoint, I would be moving more, I'd be moving to cover, I get all that. What I'm trying to show you guys, especially newer shooters, is just the logical sequence of progression here, starting with a skill drill, then adding one additional piece, movement left or right, reloads, and going through that whole process so that you've got the skills and proficiency that leads ultimately to confidence. All right, so some of the shooting and moving now, I've got targets out here, I've got some steel over here, and I'm just gonna work on moving. Well, folks, that's a look at some of the practice that I like to do on a regular basis. And I'll do this both with my everyday carry gun, which is a very important thing for you to do, right? Not just carry that gun, but actually practice with it. And then I'll go to the full-size guns that we use a lot when, our, when we teach. And, um, you know, running a full-size gun from a full-side outside the waistband holster is just, you know, it's more comfortable when you shoot competition. There's more applications there. But it's really important to practice with whatever your carry gun is. And it doesn't make any difference to me, guys, what you're carrying. It could be this. It could be a Glock. It could be a PPS. Whatever it is, the important thing is to practice. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate each and every one of you supporting the channel, subscribing, and also just sharing your thoughts, comments, and feedback. Finally, and as always, stay safe.